hate the most about the music industry? I think what I don't like is the fact that uh, to like back in the day it used to be more about grooming the artists, but these days it's not at all. It's like you have to uh, you basically have to jump right out the box. It's, it's no more. You know, beliefs in, you know, you grow with an artist. It's just all about a hit right now. So I think that's what I don't like is the fact that, you know, it's not really about the music no more. And, you know, right now because of the Internet, it messed the whole uh, – the Internet did two things. It, it, it blessed the artist to be able to do independent stuff. You just have to work really hard to do it. But mm-hmm. it really – fucked up the whole record industry as far as like free downloads and everything so it took a lot of money away from a lot of the majors so now majors are dipping more into the artist's bag you know what I mean like um, they're taking money out of touring now which never happened you know what I mean it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's just, everything has really completely changed and it's taking away from the artist and, and just being able to grow with the artist and, and you know because like you got to think about Motown Supremes, mm-hmm. all of them, they weren't ready when they first signed with them. You know what I mean? They had to grow. You know what I mean? And that's what it's not anymore. There's no growth in the music business. So that's what I want to do with my label. I want to be able to sign an artist and, you know, not just be like, okay, if your first single, don't jump you out of here. You know, I'd rather be able to grow with the artist if I truly believe in them like that because that's the only way they're going to really blow up. You got to, you know, every artist you see from Usher to everybody else, they had to grow. You know, I was there when Usher first got signed and when he, did an album that did not work, you know, he first got it. It took a while for him to grow, you know what I mean? So that's what's wrong. It's, it's not there anymore in, um, in the uh, major um, labels. The best thing about the industry is just being able to reach millions of people. That's it, mm-hmm. you know. It's something that you love to do, you know. And when people feel your music and where you come from, it's really special. So being that you're a Southern artist, on our site we have a list of the top influential Southern rappers. So you let me know who you think the top five most influential Southern rappers are. Oh, wow. Um, I'm about to say, well, I'm going to say 3,000 first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 3,000. Um, I'm going to say uh, CeeLo. Mm-hmm. T.I. Okay. Scarface. I'm not putting this in any kind of order, really. I'm, I, I mean, Drake will be number one, but... <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to say Mitch, too. 